Hi everyone, welcome to today's video. It's a bit, uh, it's a week later than I promised, I'm pretty sure, but I had no time to record, unfortunately. So I'm only now getting around to it. And it's my uh, uni essentials and advice video. So I'm gonna first show you kind of like things that I think are essential or were essential for me to be organized and get through university. And the second part of the video is gonna be more of an advice that kind of looking back um, I noticed what was uh, what maybe I should have done more of and what you should maybe enjoy uh, while you can so let's just get to it so I have here a list on my phone so I don't forget anything also uh, I don't have like a screen um, like a preview so I hope everything's gonna be in a shot but I am waiting on a wire because I have a new mic and I cannot plug in the mic and my monitor at the same time. I ordered a new wire and I'm waiting for it. So it should be today. It's not here yet. Um, I need to get this done. So I'm going to start with a thing, like I said. Something that's very popular if you ever watched like a back to school or uh, just a video about uni more in like, uh, I would say mostly the States, but a binder. And I here have one that I chose for my upcoming master's degree. And the way I use it is to keep it at home. Uh, it's a way, it's a space for all my notes to kind of have a home. Uh, like I'm gonna have multiple subjects. And what I'm gonna do basically is have a designated spot for them in this binder. And then, you know, I always will know where they are I can get this paper out of here. I like those big binders with this thing for uh, all of my notes because the, I just feel like it's more sturdy and just holds them better. Um, but what I've seen people do is take those like with them when they go to uni. I don't have the need to do that and also I don't want to break my back. <laughs> but if you need a binder to take with you, I would suggest like a smaller one, the thinner one. Uh, sometimes you can buy also like a plastic one that's more like mm, bendable. I was actually looking at some yesterday and I was debating whether I need one but I'll kind of see like I'll go through my first few weeks see if it's something I'm missing or not uh, but what I do I always have I would always have a binder and I would have one usually per semester. Here I will always write which semester it's uh, the notes are from and I would always have uh, dividers like this. Uh, these are just with numbers. Uh, I would prefer plain ones but it didn't have colors I liked. And what I would do, I would write here, whether it was plastic or paper, I would write here the name of the subject, sometimes like a shortcut they use. Um, I would sometimes separate, if there was enough of like material, I would separate the lecture from like the practical classes just so I have them kind of, you know, ready for when I have an exam or like I need to prepare for something and that just worked really well for me really well? what? <laughs> really well for me and I'll recommend to try this out some other folder that might come in handy first of all uh, buy one like this that you can take your documents with you whether it's uh, for a project, for a presentation just so it doesn't get bent uh, it keeps its shape, it looks nice no one can see what's inside, which sometimes also, you know, you don't want anyone to see what's there. Um, if you don't mind people seeing what's in it, uh, like a see-through one, just to house all your documents, maybe handouts you get from a teacher, uh, mainly for like languages, I would say. Or something like this that you can put uh, right away in the binder, um, again, next to the tab with the subject that it's about. I found those really handy. I will be definitely using them now as well because I bought a few. Then a notebook because uh, I prefer ring bind notebook binders. Like ring notebooks, I don't know. Why am I forgetting spiral notebooks? Something like that. Uh, and this one I really like. This is from actually from action, actually from action. It is a five subject notebook, as you can see, it has five different colors. Um, you can either use it for five different subjects or um, just, you know, use it as a 
paper that you use for writing uh, like notes you in the class. If you don't want something like this, uh, I would suggest just a normal, uh, you can buy either like, um, kind of like looks like a refill paper just uh, for the binder or um, a notebook that just has like the the holes already in the pages pre-made so you can you know rip it out put in the binder and not have to worry about it and this one is lined normally I prefer like the the graph paper is it in English I think that's my preference when it comes to writing but for things that you get uh, from like your teachers or lecturers basically for handouts uh, you need to make holes yourself and I finally found um, a hole puncher that I love. I really wanted this because I always want them to be the same size because I found this flower attacks me in every video. <laughs> I found that I like the papers to be like even in my uh, like a binder it's, it's a personal thing but you know if you like that too buy this one don't cheap out on it because I bought one that this thing was so flimsy from action and I returned it because it was ridiculous. So something like this to keep at home. So I'm a fan, always been a fan of sticky notes, but there are so many different like types of varieties you can choose from. Starting from like the basic ones. I have no room. Starting from like basic ones that you just, you know, keep on your desk or whatever. Uh, Post-it notes, just to quickly write something down. You can have something like this, which is this one is mainly like just to mark something that you maybe want to come back to or something. And there's also a tab. Maybe you could use these like in a binder if you want to create yourself a tab. That could also work. Uh, and you can write here, this way or this way in the book, up to you. I have here four colors of them. It's not that many that you get, but at least it's something. These small ones already talked about. Whoops, it's coming back. I also have just page markers, uh, which are going to be great for in books. Or, for example, uh, let's say you choose the color pink to mark things that are very important, maybe are for exam. You know, every time you hear, like the lecturer or your teacher say, remember this for exam. Just put a mark next to it, maybe like an explanation mark or exam on the paper and you know right away what it means. Or you can get something like this. And yes, this one has pandas on it. I realize that. But what also really convinced me to buy it is that it has like this thing that you can put in the binder. So you always have it on hand. Let's say you are a person who takes the binder with them on the go. It's a perfect thing. You have here like your bookmarks, uh, smaller notes, and here like a big one. So you can use that to write down some notes maybe for yourself. And then let's get into my pencil case, which houses, uh, how, do you, how do you call it? Tipex, not Tipex, whatever. You know, like a correction tape, I have this. I haven't used that in a long time because I used like the one with um, like the liquid form. I have highlighters, which my one of my favorite ones are the one from Stabilo, uh, but the pastel ones and also the thinner ones because you know they take up less space and they just, they just uh, are easier to take with you on the go. And my first zebra mild liner, I got the gray one because I thought it's gonna be something different and if you don't know how a mild liner looks like here's like a, like a highlighter kind of a tip and on this side you have more like a not a pen like a marker kind of a point so yeah fine and bold yeah and uh, they write really nice and I can see myself buying the whole range of those at some point Okay, then uh, my next thing and advice at the same time, have two or three pens that if you lose them or if you borrow them and you never get them back, you will not miss because people at uni don't always have like pens on them or they run out. Who knows what happens with them? I always would have uh, at least one or two that I can borrow to someone that was like 
It's a good pen, but I'm not gonna cry if I miss if I like lose it. Then obviously pens that you really enjoy. I have currently this Pentel Energel 07 uh, tip. Seems nice. Those from um, Schneider Slider Edge XB ones are also nice. And I have one Pigma Micron 10, like a really thick um, point, just because I wanted it. I also am missing pencils, which I always have with me, and like, you know, the rubber and the sharpener. If the angle is different, my battery just died, so I had to change it. Anyway, I was gonna say last, like, stationary thing uh, are flashcards. And there are so many different varieties that you can buy. Uh, I've seen like for example ones with like rings through them so you can like you know just have them all hooked together I have like these plain ones with like a grid on them they're aligned they're like uh, with like just plain ones different colors there are so many you can choose from but what I found them most useful for uh, is learning language I would have like from a certain chapter maybe like um, words on it uh, or like grammar explained here. That's for example. That's the stack that I have. I just bought like in like a local store um, So yeah, I find them useful and also I would cut them in uh, in half or like even in four Just to have like a really really small flashcard just if it was like a word and on the other side uh, Word in English or in Polish or whatever. I find that to be very useful could also be useful for like definitions of things and just like quick um you know, like in a nutshell kind of information. Next up, something that I think is a necess necessity is some kind of a calendar or planner. Here I have a few examples. This is a normal calendar just with uh, days in it. Nothing else, nothing fancy. Here I have a calendar that I'll actually be using uh, this year that my parents brought for me. It has uh, like overviews for the year overviews for the months and then for each of the days so that's uh, something more pretty looking than just a normal calendar I would say or maybe it's a bullet journal which you can uh, basically customize the way you want to like that's how I for example had my weeks out but what I did notice with uh, using the bullet journal as my like calendar it takes a long time I cannot plan ahead because I have the spreads written so I realized I need like a planner kind of a thing and that's what works best for me uh, more of a planner than a calendar and whether you plan on paper or online like for example on Google, on Google Calendar it's very important to have a place where you go to write down your deadlines, your exams, uh, projects, maybe like uh, even to-do lists um, just find a way that works for you but do keep up with like, uh, you know, like I said, due dates and stuff like that because they are very important and you don't want to be like suddenly like, oh, there's an exam coming up in a week or something, you know? Just use a planner or a calendar. I'm going to have a look at my list that I have here. And I have also written down that just enjoy your time. Uh, honestly, like school and uni, it goes by so quick. Just even if you are just hanging out with your friends, enjoy it. Maybe study together, we did that for a couple of subjects. Uh, it's sometimes easier to uh, go through some problems together, try to solve them maybe. Or, you know, just bond and stuff. I feel like that's um, something I I miss now a bit. Definitely not having like my uni friends around. I feel like we have like a good bond and stuff. But speaking of like uh, projects and like group stuff, Back up your projects. Um, if you are working on something, put it either on a Google Drive or like somewhere in the cloud. I don't know. Have a USB stick dedicated for your uni. Have a, maybe an uh, how do you call it? A hard drive. And definitely, definitely back up your thesis. And I would say in multiple places because it's a really important piece of work that you're working on. And you don't want that to be lost. Here I have just an example of a hard drive. Here this one uh, houses my uh, photos. I think it's like a one terabyte or 500 gigs. I don't know, but have something that backs up your work. 
Something else, a different small device that could come in handy is a power bank. I would suggest to always have either a power bank on you or a charger. Definitely with now phones uh, not being able to go a whole day without charge. Uh, and also, if people know you have a power bank, they're gonna also ask you about it. So keep that kind of in mind. Uh, once you say it, it's out there and they all want your power bank. But uh, it saved me uh, and my friends uh, a couple of times for like a really, really long day. If someone had a power bank or if you could charge your phone, it really helps. Something more uh, maybe like eco-friendly kind of advice, have a re reusable water bottle on you or uh, like an isolated bottle, for example, I had for tea. Or if you get your coffee quite often, I have like a reusable cup you can use. I think now, uh, I know with Corona, not everyone allowed that. Actually, most places didn't. Uh, but maybe now, slowly getting back to normal, it's gonna be allowed. But just, you know, save yourself and also the trash. <laughs> Another thing is, use the time that you have commuting to read a book, to hear, listen to a podcast, listen to music, uh, go through your notes sometimes before exams, that's why I did. Just, uh, you know, I know you don't want to do it every day, but I feel like that, I don't know, I used to, used to take me like 15 to 20 minutes on the metro, for example, and I would just you use, what? Just read a book, and I actually read quite a lot at that time, so that was nice. Maybe one more thing that's more organization oriented, oriented is to create a folder on your computer uh, that's only for your uni stuff. What I had, I had one main one that said uni, then I had each of the semesters in them, and then each in each of the semester had the class, and when the class was split into lecture and like uh, more exercise kind of stuff, then I had those as well as subfolders. And it just helped me so much to stay organized if I was doing a project or if someone was sending the slides to us uh, to, you know, to, to learn from or something. It was just so easy to find everything. So I do highly recommend doing that. And last but not least, enjoy your student discount because it's a lot. <laughs> and, you know, if you feel like you want to go to a museum or if you want to go to a movie, or sometimes restaurants offer like discounts for students. Just make use of it because... Do you know how expensive a train is if you don't have a discount in Belgium? Very. <laughs> so I'm hoping we get a student card. We should. Anyway, but honestly, like, enjoy it. Um, like I said, all the museums that you might want to go to, just go. Just go now. And if you don't have anyone to go with you, just go alone because you want to do it. Um, I know if I now get my student card, I'm gonna be like, yes, I'm gonna go everywhere. <laughs> anyway, let me just check. Um, but it seems like I have everything. I am actually gonna film an unboxing of my new backpack that just arrived. And I will be taking it out on a trip to Brussels tomorrow. So that's probably gonna be going up in like two weeks or something. So if you're interested, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe not to miss that video. And I'll link uh, up, or actually on the screen, like my latest back to school kind of video, maybe like the um, stationery haul, if you want to see more of that. And thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!